All right, you hear that Donald Trump has a plan uh, to try to get that $2 trillion plus that companies are holding offshore. But Carl Icahn might have been the inspiration for that because he is worried about a continuing exodus of that dough from this country. Take a listen. What's idiotic about it is it's bringing a lot of risk that these guys don't understand. And that risk is you may get a mass exodus in the next year or two of companies out of this country. Because ask yourself, why should a company pay taxes over here where they could get domiciled in other countries? And large shareholders, a lot of them aren't what I call patriotic. I mean, and, and nor should they be. A company is a company. A company is not a patriot. Well, that's a little bit different than some of the things that Donald Trump has been saying, that to punish those companies that ship jobs overseas or hire abroad. It's not quite that black and white, but we do know that a lot of green is gone over there because it's being chased away from here. Will a one-time forgiveness fee uh, or 10 percent fee on that money do the trick to bring it back? Market watcher Craig Smith says, well, it's probably worth a try. Craig, good to have you. What do you think of what... What Trump is saying and, and what essentially Carl Icahn is saying, we've got to find an incentive or means by which to bring this money back. They're both absolutely right, especially Carl Icahn. I love the interview on the first hour today. It was he's he's right on other than maybe a little change in some language. But that's Carl <laughs> for you. You know, he, he he's got it right, Neil. And, and think about this. Let's just say the number's two point one trillion. I think it's higher than that. But let's just say it's two point one trillion. And we brought that back into America and charged a 10 percent flat rate. And you get to pay that over time. If the Federal Reserve printed four trillion dollars to stimulate an economy to get one point five percent growth, what if American corporations that would be responsible for the money and invest it wisely? What kind of growth could that be? And that's where I think Trump is getting the six percent GDP number from. And that doesn't even count that if you cap corporate tax rates at 15 percent, we would be a nation that every single industry in the world would want to make their domicile. We'd have the lowest, other than Bermuda and those, the lowest rates of an industrial type of country in the world, Neil. This plan, whether it was Trump who did it or Carl Icahn or, or, or Ted Cruz or, or Carly Fiorin, it doesn't matter. The plan makes sense, Neil, and it will get the economy growing. And when you have an economy growing, people are paying more taxes. When you have more taxes, you can fix the debt problem. You know, the one thing that's weird, though, Craig, you think about it every time, and you're right, tax cuts, you know, produce a great deal of revenue. Unfortunately, we've discovered under Democrats and Republicans, they'll spend it. So if that money comes in. I almost want a law in place that you cannot add to our deficits and debt uh, with this extra money you're going to get. No, that's that's that'd be a great idea, Neil. If we could put fiscal restraint in place along with this, we would have a winning combination for an economic renaissance in this country. And think about it, Neil. Out of recessions, small businesses create 72 percent of all the new jobs. Most small businesses are paying personal income tax rates on the earnings that they make. If they were only to have to pay 15 percent rates, which would be the cap for all corporations, all businesses, Think about the additional money that would give them to make improvements on their business, to hire more people. Carl Icahn and Donald Trump know this end. This is their wheelhouse, Neil. They understand how business works. Barack Obama hasn't run anything but his mouth his entire life. And the, these men know how to run industries. They know how to run business. They know how to generate revenue. And when you have revenue, you have taxes. And when you have taxes, you have income. And if we could do it in a responsible way where they re restrain themselves on the spending. Hey, Neil, I said this on your program years ago. I would send an additional 2 percent voluntarily on my taxes to the federal government, maybe even 5 percent, if I was promised that it went directly to pay down the national debt. But you know as well as I do, they'll just put it in the big till and just spend 5% yeah, more they just money. Won't do that. And by the way, never make promises like that, young man. Uh, but Craig Smith, it is always good having you. Thank you very, very much. Good seeing you, Neil. All right. See, Craig's got the interest of the country.